Good morning students. We are doing lesson number 4 that is multiplication. Till now I have explained multiplication by grouping, multiplication on number line, multiplication as repeated addition and multiplication table of 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay. Now what is multiplication by grouping? Multiplication by grouping is when we bring together say uh, two or more than two groups of same quantity. When we bring the groups together. Okay. And when we write multiplication by grouping, we always write the number of groups first. So, if it is three groups of six flowers. So, we write it as three into six. Which means 3 groups of 6 flowers. 3 into 6 is equal to 18. That means 6 plus 6 plus 6. Okay. Then we can show the same thing on number line also. 3 into 6 can be shown on number line also. 3 into 6 means 3 jumps of 6 units. Okay. So we start from 0. We count 6. And we reach from 0, we reach 6. Then we again count 6 more and we reach 12. We again count 6 more and we reach 18. So 3 into 6 is equal to 18. Then I explain multiplication as repeated addition. So multiplication as repeated addition means when we add a same number many times. That means when we add the same number repeatedly. Repeatedly means bar bar. So instead of adding a number many times we multiply that number by the number of times we are adding it so suppose we have to add 2 6 times so instead of adding 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, plus 2 we multiply it by 6 so that is multiplication as repeated addition and then i explain multiplication tables of 6 7 8 9 and 10 now today i will start with multiplication by 0. Now this is page number 79 in your book. You can see the page. Look at the pattern and find the product when 0 is a factor. Okay. When we multiply two numbers, each number is known as the factor. Say we multiply 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So, 2 is a factor of 8, 4 is a factor of 8. Okay. When we multiply 2 or more than 2 numbers, so the numbers are the factors of the product. And I told you product is the answer when we multiply 2 numbers. Suppose I say 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Okay. So, 8 is known as the product. 8 is the product of 2 and 4 and 2 and 4 are the factors of 8. Okay. So, see the pattern. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Then 4 into 4 is equal to 16. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. 2 into 4 is equal to 8, 1 into 4 is equal to 4 and 0 into 4 is equal to 0. So, what do you see in the pattern? 5 into 4 is equal to 20. That means 5 groups of 4 is equal to 20. 4 into 4 is equal to 16. That means 4 fours are 16. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. That means 3 fours are 12. So, you will see each a product is 4 less than the previous one. Like 5 into 4, 20. Next is 4 into 4 is equal to 16. So, 16 is 4 less than 20. Then 3 into 4 is equal to 12. So, 12 is 4 less than 16. Then 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So, 8 is 4 less than 12. Similarly, 1 into 4 is equal to 4, which is again 4 less than 8 and 0 into 4 is equal to 0. 0 is 4 less than 4. Okay. Now see one more pattern. 4 into 5 is equal to 20. 
फोर इंटू फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन फोर इंटू थ्री इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व फोर इंटू टू इज इक्वल टू एट फोर इंटू वन इज इक्वल टू फोर एंड फोर इंटू जीरो इज इक्वल टू फोर यो सी फाइव इंटू फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू फाइव इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी बट फाइव इंटू फोर मीन्स फाइव फोर जार ट्वेंटी दैट मीन्स फाइव ग्रुप्स ऑफ फोर ओके आर ट्वेंटी एंड फोर इंटू फाइव मीन्स फोर फाइव जार ट्वेंटी दैट इज फोर ग्रुप्स ऑफ फाइव जार ट्वेंटी ओके सो वेदर यू एड फाइव फोर टाइम्स और यू एड फोर फाइव टाइम्स द प्रोडक्ट इज सेम दैट इज ट्वेंटी सिमिलरली थ्री इंटू फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व फोर इंटू थ्री इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व थ्री इंटू फोर मीन्स थ्री ग्रुप्स ऑफ फोर थ्री फोर आर फोर प्लस फोर प्लस फोर एंड फोर इंटू थ्री मीन्स फोर थ्री आर दैट मीन्स थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्रोडक्ट इज सेम दैट इज ट्वेल्व now here in this pattern also you will see that each product is four less than the previous one four five is the twenty then four four is the sixteen sixteen is four less than twenty then four three is the twelve twelve is again four less than sixteen four two is the eight eight is again four less than twelve four one is the four four is four less than eight and four into zero that is zero is again four less than four okay so here you will see that whether you multiply 0 into 4 or 4 into 0 the product is zero only okay now see one more example 6 into 7 is equal to 42 so 6 into 7 means 6 sevens are that means 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 6 sevens are 42 5 sevens are Thirty-five. That means five groups of sevens are thirty-five. Four into seven is equal to twenty-eight. That means four groups of seven are twenty-eight. Three into seven is equal to twenty-one. That means three groups of seven are twenty-one. Two into seven is equal to fourteen. That means two groups of seven are fourteen. One into seven is equal to seven. And zero into seven is equal to zero. Zero into seven means no group. Zero means nothing. Okay. So zero into seven means one into seven means one seven zar. Two into seven means two seven zar. Zero into seven means no, nothing. So if there is nothing, then you will not get anything. Okay. If there is nothing, then you will not get anything. If there are no toffees, then you will not get any toffee, isn't it? You ask for a pencil from your friend. If your friend does not have any pencil, then you will not get it, isn't it now? So that means zero means nothing. So if there is nothing, we will not get anything. Similarly, this is the multiplication table of seven six zero. Now see the multi. See on the other side seven into six. Seven into six means seven six r. Seven into five means seven five r. So seven six are forty two. That means seven six are six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six, forty two. Seven into five is equal to thirty five. Seven into four is equal to twenty eight. Seven into three is equal to twenty one. Seven into two is equal to fourteen. Seven into one is equal to seven, and seven into zero is equal to zero. Seven six are forty two. Seven fives are thirty five. Seven fours are twenty eight. Seven threes are twenty one. Seven twos are fourteen, and seven ones are seven. And seven zeros are. That means if there is nothing, so whether it is one, two, three, four, five, six, or any number, it will remain zero only because there is nothing. So here also you will see that each product is seven. Less than the previous one. Seven six are forty two. Seven five is a thirty five, which is seven less than forty two. Then seven four is a twenty eight, so which is again seven less than thirty five. Then seven three is a twenty one, which is seven less than twenty eight. Seven two is a fourteen. Fourteen is seven less than twenty one. Seven one is a seven, which is seven less than fourteen. And seven zero is equal to zero, which is seven less than Zero, which is seven less than seven. So here also you will see that zero into seven is equal to seven into zero is equal to zero. That means 
you multiply any number by zero or you multiply zero by any number the product will be zero only because zero means zero if you are multiplying any number or if you are multiplying zero by any number one of the factor is zero so zero it nullify i mean matlab zero se matlab sab kuch zero ho jata hai fir okay so zero means nothing so kuch agar hai hi nahi hamare paas so how will we get any product okay so that means when we multiply zero by any number or when we multiply any number by zero the product is zero only so the product of any number is any the product of any number and zero is zero you can see here the product of any number and zero is zero clear that means you multiply any number by zero or you multiply zero by any number you always get zero now we will see the examples fill in the place holders let me enlarge it a bit now fill in the place holders first is 8 into 0 is equal to 0 0 into here the product is 0 and one of the factor is 7 one of the number is 7 that means another number would be 0 only 9 into dash is equal to 0 now here the product is 0 so it would be 0 so in all the blank space it would be 0 only because everywhere the product is 0 okay everywhere you will see that the product is 0 so one of the factor has to be 0 when we multiply two numbers and if the product is 0 that means one of the number has to be 0 so in all the blank space we will fill 0 because one num one of the number is given another has to be zero as a product in all the cases is zero so is it clear so the product of zero and any number is zero or you can say the product of any number and zero is zero okay now next is fun time it is just a multiplication game this you can play with your friend and you can check how good is your table okay play this game with your friend or friends and find out who takes less time to go from the waterfall to the village you can see the waterfall in the left corner and the village is at the right corner so you can choose the way you can play this game with your friend okay first and then you can see who takes less time to reach the village this is just a fun game Now next is now we will be doing multiplication of two digit numbers and three digit numbers by a single digit number multiplication of two digit number and three digit number by a single digit number without carrying first we will do without carrying we will learn first we learn the multiplication of multiplication without carrying okay now you can see see the example multiply 32 by 3 okay let's see here 32 by 3 so 32 is a two digit number so at once place the digit is 2 and tens place digit is 3 32 means 3 tens and 2 ones 32 means 3 tens and 2 ones so at once place we write 2 and at tens place we write 3 and we have to multiply it by 3 so the number by which we multiply we always write it below ones place because it is a single digit number so we write it at ones place only okay ja always remember when we are multiplying any number whether it is a two digit number or a three digit number when we are multiplying it by a single digit number we always write that number at ones place only because it is a single digit number so first we multiply by ones digit okay the number from which we are multiplying first we multiply that number by the digit at ones place so the at ones place the digit is 2 we multiply 2 by 3 that is 6 so we write 6 at ones place then we multiply by tens digit and at tens place we have 3 so we multiply 3 by 3 and we get 3 3s are 9 for doing multiplication you must 
remember the multiplication table at least till 9 since because you are multiplying by single digit number so till 9 you must remember the multiplication table so 3 3s are 9 because otherwise if you do not remember the table then you will have to now suppose you don't remember 3 3s are 9 then you will have to do 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 9 so, okay achha, yaha pe main 9 likhungi. so if you remember multiplication table it will be easier for you to multiply so then first we multiply by ones digit and then we multiply by tens digit 3 3 is a 9 and we write it at tens place since we are multiplying the digit at tens place so 32 into 3 is equal to 96 okay so when we are multiplying by a single digit number first we multiply the digit at ones place by that number then we multiply the digit at tens place by that number and when we multiply the digits at ones place we write it below ones place when we multiply the digit at tens place then we write the product at tens place only okay now we will see some of the examples okay first is 42 into 2 so here you can see the digit at 1's place is 2 and the digit at 10's place is 4. Since 42 means 40 plus 2. Okay, 4 10's and 2 1's. So, first we multiply the digit at 1's place by 2. So, we multiply 2 by 2. So, 2 2's are 4. We write it at 1's place 4. Then we multiply the digit at 10's place by 2. This is 4 into 2. 2 is equal to 8. So, 42 into 2 is equal to 84. So, the product of 42 in multiplied by 2 is 84. See the next sum 23 into 3. Now, here again 23 means 2 tens and 3 ones. So, first we write the digits at their proper place. In 23, it is 2 tens and 3 ones. So, 3 at 1's place and 2 at 10's place. First, we multiply the digit at, since we have to multiply this number 23 by 3, first we multiply the digit at 10's place by 3. So, 3, 3 is a 9 and then we multiply the digit at 10's place by 3. So, 2 into 3 is equal to 6. So, 23 into 3 is equal to 69. Now, 23 multiplied by 3 means we are adding 23 3 times. 42 into 2 means we are adding 42 2 times. Okay. Now, next is 34 into 2. 34 multiplied by 2 means 34 means 3 tens and 4 ones. So, first we write the numbers at their pro digits at their proper place and then we have to multiply this number 34 by 2. 2. So, again we first multiply the digit at 1's place. So, that is 4 into 2 is equal to 2 and then we multiply the digit at 10's place by 2. So, 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So, 34 into 2 is equal to 62. Now, next is 12 multiplied by 3. Now, 12 means 1, 10 and 2 1's. Okay. So, and you have to multiply this by 3. So, first we multiply the digit at 1's place that is 2 by 3. We get 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Then we multiply the digit at 1's 10's uh, place by 3 that is 1 into 3 is equal to 3. So, 12 into 3 is equal to 36. Now, next is multiply 22 by 2. So, in 22 there are 2 10's and 2 1's. So, we always write the digits at their proper place first. Okay. Then we multiply. So, 2 into 2 is equal to 4 and 2 into 2 is equal to 4. So, 22 multiplied by 2 is equal to 44. Next is 41 multiplied by 2. 41 means 4 tens and 1 ones. And we have to multiply this by 2. First, we multiply the 1's by 2. So, 1's that is 1 into 2 is equal to 2. And then 
tens by 2 that is 4 into 2 is equal to 8. So, this is how we multiply. Now, we will see the rest of the examples. Now, 32 into 2, 32 means 3 tens and 2 ones. So, first we have written, then we multiply 2 into 2 is equal to 4 and 3 into 2. So, 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So, 32 into 2 is equal to 64. The next is 24 into 2. So, again first we multiply 4 by 2, 4 to the 8. And then we multiply 2 by 2. 2 to the 4. 48. Next is 11 into 6. So, first we multiply 1s by 6. That is 1, 6 are 6. Then we multiply 10s by 6. This is again 1, 6 are 6. So, 11 into 6 is equal to 66. Next is 22 into 4. 22 into 4. So, first we multiply the 1s that is 4 into 2 is equal to 8 and 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So, 22 into 4 is equal to 88. Next is 30 into 2. 30 means 3 tens and 0 ones. So, first we multiply the 1s by 2. Once we have 0. So, 0 into 2 as I have told you that when we multiply 0 by any number the product is 0. Okay. So, 0 into 2 is equal to 0. See children, when we multiply maybe 2 numbers, 3 numbers, 4 numbers or 5 numbers, any number, any number of numbers and if any factor among these numbers is 0, then the product will become 0. Okay. If suppose we are multiplying 5 numbers and if 1 number is 0 out of these 5 numbers, then the entire product will be 0. Okay, so 0 into 2 is equal to 0, then we multiply 3 by 2, 3 to the 6. So, 30 into 2 is equal to 60. Now, next is 85 multiplied by 0. 85 means 8 tens and 5 ones and we have to multiply this by 0. So, 5 into 0, I told you multiply any number by 0, the product is 0. So, 5 into 0 is equal to 0, 8 into 0 is equal to 0. So, 85 into 0 is equal to 0. Multiply any number by 0, the product is 0 only. So, this is how we do multiplication, multiply, this is how we multiply 2 digit number by a single digit number. See, 33 into 3. Now, see 33 into 3. First, we multiply once by 3, that is 3 into 3 is equal to 9 and 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 33 into 3 is equal to 9. Now, there is a challenge for you. Find double of 32. Double means, what do you understand by double? Double means doguna. So, double of 32 that means either you can add 32 plus 32 is equal to 64, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Okay, double means do guna. So, either you can add 32 2 times or you can multiply 32 by 2 since you are adding it 2 times. So, instead of adding 32 twice, we can multiply 32 by 2. So, multiplying 2 by 2, we get 4. Multiplying 3 by 2, we get 6. So, answer is 34. Answer will remain the same. Double means doguna. So, whether you write, whether you add the number twice or you multiply the number by 2, you will get the same answer. Now, next is multiplication of 3 digit number by a single digit number without borrowing. Now, see. First, multiply 231 by 3. So, first we write the number properly that means the digit according to 1s, 10s and 100. First we arrange the digits properly, write the digit at 1s place, at 1s place, 10s place digit at 10s place and 100s place digit at 100s place. So, that means 231 by 3. 
Now in 2, 3, 1, a digit at 1's place is 1, at 10's place is 3 and 100's place is 2. So you have to multiply this by 3. Again, we first multiply. We always start with 1's place whether it is addition, subtraction or multiplication. We always start with 1's place. When in addition also, we start addition from 1's place. In subtraction also, we start subtraction from 1's place. And in uh, multiplication also, we start multiplication from ones place so multiplying 1 by 3 we get 3 then we multiply the digit at tens place that is 3 by 3 we get 9 then we multiply the digit at hundreds place by 3 2 3 is a 6 okay so first we multiply by ones digit for we multiply the number by which we are multiplying okay so first we multiply by ones digit that is 1 into 3 then we multiply by tens digit that is 3 into 3 and then we multiply by hundreds digit that is 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, 231 into 3 is equal to 693. 693 means 6 tens, 9, uh, 6 hundredths, 9 tens and 3 ones. So, when you multiply by ones digit, you get ones only. When you multiply by tens digit, you get tens. And when you multiply by hundreds digit, you get hundreds. Okay. So, this is how we do multiplication of a three digit number by a single digit number without borrowing. Now see some examples. First is multiply 302 by 2. First we multiply you can see the digit at 1's place is 2, the digit at 10's place is 0 and the digit at 100th place is 3. So first we multiply by 1's digit. So 2 into 2 we get 4 ones then we multiply by tens digit that is 0 into 2 we get 0 since multiplying any number by 0 or 0 by any number we get 0 and then we multiply by hundredth digit 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so we get 6 0 4 that is 302 multiplied by 2 is equal to 604 okay now well, next is 412 multiplied by 2 so you can see the digit at tens ones place is 2 at tens place it is 1 and at hundreds place it is 4 so multiply by ones digit we have to multiply this this number 412 by 2 so first we multiply by ones digit that is 2 into 2 we get four ones then we multiply by tens digit that is 1 into 2 1 into 2 is equal to 2 we get two tens and then we multiply by 100 digit that is 4 into 2 is equal to 8 we get 8 hundreds so 412 into 2 is equal to 824 now next example is multiply 204 by 2 so there are 4 ones 0 tens and 2 hundreds so multiplying by ones digit we get 4 into 2 is equal to 8 ones we get 8 ones then multiplying by tens digit 0 into 2 is equal to 0 we get 0 tens and multiplying by 100 2 into 2 is equal to 4 we get 4 tens 400 sorry so 204 into 2 is equal to 408 400 0 tens 8 ones you see the next example 312 multiplied by 3 so first we multiply the ones digit that is 2 into 3 is equal to 6 6 ones then 1 then we multiply by tens digit that is 1 into 3 so 1 into 3 is equal to 3 we get 3 tens and then we multiply by 100 digit that is 3 into 3 is equal to 9 hundreds so 312 multiplied by 3 is equal to 936 see so the next example 212 into 3 so multiply by ones digit we get 2 into 3 is equal to 6 ones multiply by tens digit that is 1 into 3 is equal to 3 ones and uh, sorry 3 tens and multiply by 100 digit that is 2 into 3 is equal to 6 hundreds. So 212 into 3 is equal to 636. Always remember children when we multiply any number by 0 or when we multiply 0 by any number 
we always get 0, the product is always 0 and when we multiply 1 by any number or any number by 1, the product is that number itself. 1 into 1 is equal to 1, 1 into 2 is equal to 2, 1 into 3 is equal to 3, 3 into 1 is equal to 3, 5 into 1 is equal to 5, 1 into 5 is equal to 5. So, you multiply any number by 1 or you multiply 1 by any number, the product will be that number only. So, here 1 into 3 is equal to 3, okay, 1 into 2 is equal to 2. Now, multiply 222 by 4. So, first we multiply by 1's digit. 2 into 4 is equal to 4, tens digit, again 2 tens, so 2 into 4, sorry 2 into 4 is 8, Here it is also 8 and then by 100 digit, 2 into 4 is equal to 8, so 222 multiplied by 4 is equal to 888. Now we will see the next example, so 102 into 4, that means 2 into 4 is equal to 8. 0 into 4 is equal to 0 and 1 into 4 is equal to 4. So, 102 into 4 is equal to 408. Our next example is 213 into 3. So first multiply by 1's digit, 3 3 is a 9, then by 10's, 1 3 is a 3 and then by 100's, 2 3 is a 6. So, 213 into 3 is equal to 639, okay. There are few more examples. So let us do these also. 123 into 3. So first we multiplied by 1's digit. 3 3 is a 9. Then 10's. 2 3 is a 6. And then 100. 1 3 is a 3. So 123 into 3 is equal to 369. Then 403 multiplied by 1. So first we multiply 1's. That is 1 into 3 is equal to 3 and as I have told you when we multiply any number whether it is a single digit number or two digit number or three digit number or four digit number howsoever big the number is if we multiply it by 1 we get the same number. So when we multiply 403 by 1 we will get the same number 0 into 1 is equal to 0 and 4 into 1 is equal to 4 ok. Now see this example 1 1 1 into 7 again. 1 into 7 is equal to 7, 1 into 7 is equal to 7 and 1 into 7 is equal to 7. See the next example, 212 into 4 is equal to multiplied by 4. So multiply by 1's place, 2 into 4 is equal to 8, 1 into 4 is equal to 4 and 2 into 4 is equal to 8, okay. So 212 into 4 is equal to 8. The last sum is there, 314 into 2. So, multiplying 1's digit, 4 twos are 8, multiplying by 10's digit, 1 twos are 2 and multiplying by 100 digit, 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So, it is 314 into 2 is equal to 628 and 202 multiplied by 2. So, multiply by 1's digit, 2 2's are 4, by 10's, 2 0's are 0 and by 100, 4 2's are 8. Okay, so this is how we do multiplication of 2 digit number and 3 digit number by a single digit number without borrowing. Okay, so today I will stop here. In my next video, we will do some word problems based on multiplication. Okay, children? Thank you.